winning rider of the first race, the four-year-old Mayor's Maiden, Jordan Gainford. Jordan, well done, uh, winner for the Boss Column Bowl. Um, under uh, strange circumstances, but he is, he is the reason why he didn't go after Mikey Sweeney was because you realised there was a bit of a mistake made. Um, yeah, um, no, uh, it was unfortunate for Michael. Um, just one of those things, um, mistakes happen, but um, no, myself and Noel copped it early during the race. Um, it was after the second fence and uh, no, we, we, we rode our own race to suit and uh, in fairness to the mare she was good and we, we didn't go chasing, you know, we, we knew we knew from a long stage that the race was to, to the rest to the other four, do you know what I mean? To the to people on the ground watching him probably thought it was a little strange why he weren't going after Michael, but obviously that, that was made clear after the race, but uh, she jumped well for her mare having her first run. Yeah, absolutely, she looked at all the Collins are, it's great to be in the position to get these rides off Colin, great support, Warren as well. Um, any ride is, is unbelievable for me there, but uh, no, um, she jumped, she travelled the whole way. Um, she, I, hopefully she'll be a smart mare going forward, Dave, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, Castletown Gag, and you have a couple of rides there tomorrow? Uh, yeah, um, three rides there tomorrow. Um, ride a nice four-year-old for Warren and um, a five-year-old and one in the open. So, and that's a novice rider's race tomorrow, yeah, the open? novice rider's open for for Brian Martell, a horse called Small World, so hopefully he'll be there with a Good start to the season for you, Jordan. Yeah, uh, great weekend last weekend, and this weekend is, is, is great. It's looking to get the winner, but um, no, it's, everything's going smooth, Dave. Yeah. Good, well done, Jordan. Thank you. And it's Jungle Jack with running around the middle bit. He is a cracker, he's a middle green, but he's getting to the front now. And it's he's a cracker, not cream in the west, it's a lap. It's he is a cracker on the far side of Jungle Jack, is in the middle of the line. Jungle Jack is running back on the north side, and he is a cracker. It's and rider of the second race, Barry O'Neill on Jungle Jack. Well done, Barry. He was uh, he's very green early on, but he was a good in the end, to battle, a good battle with yourself and Jamie in the end. Yeah, Dev, he, um, he didn't really seem to handle the track today. Um, and with a couple of loose horses and things of that, like um, it was very difficult out there. But look, his work had been very good always last year, and like I'm sure he would have been a winner last year without the lockdowns. Uh, so look, we find some home today. Things didn't really go our way throughout the race, but still, his ability came out on top, and that's the main thing. Uh, Castletown Gagan tomorrow will you be busy tomorrow for Colin? Yeah, um, we run two four-year-olds, I think two five-year-olds, and. I have um, a five-year-old mayor there as well for um, Paul and James Nolan, so I think I ride one in the winners today for Christie as well, so busy enough day, so look, they're, they're giving tough conditions up there, I think they're giving a lot of rain, so hopefully we'll be able to get through tomorrow as, as smooth as we did today. It's good to see the rain back though, isn't it? Definitely, look, everyone be in favour of, of the rain, it'll probably make it more difficult for us and, and for people. Um, uh, the hunt meet you and uh, stores and things like that, but look, we, hopefully we'll all come together and we'll work through it. That's well done today. Thanks, Deb. Figaro the board, who of the third race, the five year old Geldon's maiden, James Walsh. Well done, James. Figaro the board is for uh, Dunica Doyle. Won well in the end. Yeah, won well. He didn't really handle the ground, but uh, he's a tough little horse. He's still going, if you know what I mean. Uh, Barry's horse fell at the last, but it looked like you had him covered. Yeah, I'd say I did now, to be honest. I'd say I did. Uh, he was starting to come back to me, and I was gone by him. I was, say I was going to limp by him anyway, so he went down and I winged the last, so he was good now in terms. He ran on the first day of, of the new season in Ballingarry. Rob James rode him, and he was second to a horse of Colin Bowes, uh, Cooper's Cross. Um, and that was a good run, so you must have been confident enough coming up here today, then, were you? Yeah, I was confident enough there now. I was a little bit worried when I seen the ground because it's, uh, it's very kind of tacky ground, but. Yeah. Uh, Ah, he's a tough little horse and he's a tough little throw. And he did, like you said, he done well to uh, yeah. to win considering that he didn't yeah. handle yeah, the track no, then. He didn't, he, didn't like, he didn't like the ground there now. Uh, he jumped and kept him in it and he, he toughed it out well. Good, uh, it's been a good uh, three weekends for you now. Are you busy in Castletown Gagan tomorrow? Um, I think I might have one, maybe two. That's, that's about all I know. Yeah. Good, nice to get one here today now. Yeah, great to get one up here. That's good, well done James. Thanks David. And Judy Coles has had a good old battle throughout with Don't Count Warriors a long way through. Winning rider of the fourth race, the winners have won, Brian Lawless. Uh, well done, Brian. Judy calls for Rodney Arthur. Won well from the front as well. Yeah, cheers. Thanks very much, Davey. Um, Travelled everywhere. He had the form of the race really coming here. He had a good run the Hunter's Chase the last day where he, he was unlucky to tip up. But, um, no, he was good today now. He fell uh, behind wing leader in Down Royal, so that form is solid coming into a race like this today. Yeah, yeah, he was running the good race, he's probably unlucky to fall now, but um, he's running probably still to as well, like.
Yeah, all the farm experience here. So. Uh, you're only right today, so it was a well worth journey. Yeah, it was well, a long drive up. Well worth the trip anyway, sure, it makes it a bit easier. Good, and uh, Castletown Gagan tomorrow, are you busy tomorrow? Yeah, I should have two or three rides, hopefully, depending on the rides and stuff, so uh, yeah, not too bad now. Good, listen, well done today. Cheers, thanks, Davey.